strephorius we want to prepare this organism for the examination we should know some very basic characteristics about it the strep aureus it is a gram positive coccus and on the gram staining they are usually in the form of grape like clusters while the streptococci they are in the form of chains and the strep aureus it is a gram positive coccus it is catalase positive means it has enzyme catalase it has then also the coagulase enzyme the coagulase test hence is also positive it produces the golden yellow color colonies very characteristic color the golden yellow colonies which also show the beta hemolysis on the blood agar and this golden yellow colonies this specific character is because of a pigment which is produced by staph aureus that pigment is called staphyloxanthin usually in, uh, in the exam you are asked to write down the names of various enzymes so what are the enzymes obviously they are the catalase coagulase there is also dnas and then staphylokinases and some lipases are also present the next very important point is what are the various exotoxins which are produced by the staph aureus they are the toxic shock syndrome toxin and terotoxin then we have the exfoliating toxin the exfoliating toxin it causes scalded skin syndrome in children and terotoxin it causes food poisoning in which the vomiting is more pronounced than the diarrhea and it is usually because of the eating of the mayonnaise and the pastries and cakes and toxic shock syndrome toxin it causes toxic shock syndrome in the females usually who use tampons in the menstruating days in nose bleed if the nose is blocked by the bandage there there can be the symptoms of toxic shock syndrome uh, usually in those people who harbor the staph aureus in their nose in their vagina it is present there as a colonizer now the toxic shock syndrome toxin and enterotoxin they both are super antigens and the exfoliating toxin it's a protease then there are some important cell wall components the most important of which is protein a and ticoic acid some species they also have a small capsule and some also have receptors for the phages now the protein a and ticoic acid they also play the most important role in the virulence of staphylococcus aureus we all know that those gram positive organisms which have ticoic acid in their structure they can have as severe form of septicemia as can caused by the endotoxin of the gram negative organisms there are two types of diseases caused by staph aureus the exotoxin mediated diseases and then there are pyogenic diseases the pyogenic diseases are caused by pyogenic inflammations now these diseases are they can be carbuncles furuncles osteomyelitis lobar pneumonia in hospitalized patients right sided endocarditis septicemia sepsis and many other types of pyogenic diseases peronychia pus in the side of the nails stri which is pus in the base of the eye eyelids so the staph aureus is a gram positive coccus catalase positive coagulase positive produce golden yellow beta hemolytic colonies